Can you fully accept the present moment and also be unhappy about it? Or is that the ego being unhappy? Okay, I'm going to repeat that because it's it's actually a very wonderful deep question. Um, it says, can you fully accept the present moment? Because we speak a lot about acceptance. Can you accept the present moment but also be unhappy about it? Or is it the ego being unhappy? What I... What I really like about that question, actually, is that when we talk about acceptance in the spiritual world, it gets, it gets misinterpreted sometimes into a belief that if I accept something, it means it's okay. It means I don't want to change it. It is a... A license, therefore, to inaction. So, for example, there's, there's poverty in the world. There's a lot of suffering in the world. You know, we could, we could turn on the news and ruin most of our moods and find out, you know, what's going on in different parts of the world. Most of us already know it. I'm not happy about that. That It doesn't make me happy that trees are being cut down in the Amazon. It doesn't make me happy that species are going extinct. Come on in. It doesn't, it doesn't make me happy that children are, are starving. The goal of a spiritual practice is not that you should become okay with all of that so that you can stay in your experience of joy or bliss and just let the rest of the world, you know, collapse. That's not, that's not the highest spiritual purpose. And so I like the question because it gives us an opportunity to get into some of, some of the subtleties of what do we mean by acceptance. When my guru, Puja Swamiji, says, don't expect, accept. Well, he's someone who from morning till night, seven days a week, 365 days a year is working for others. So clearly accept doesn't mean accept that people are going to keep suffering and dying because the water is bad, accept that the trees are going to keep getting cut down, accept that poor people are going to keep suffering. So what does it mean? What it means is that we accept it as in, in this moment, in this intersection of time and space, right here, this is how it is. What acceptance means simply is I'm in line with the truth of the moment. In this moment, people are suffering. In this moment, people are dying. For me not to accept it is for me to step out of alignment with the truth of that moment. If I don't accept it, well, I'm no longer in line with truth because it's happening. Whether I accept it or not, it's happening. And if I say I don't accept that, it's, it's rejecting an unchangeable reality about this very moment. I spoke last night about, you know, the little girl on the TV show I used to watch when I was young who would rub her nose and be able to magically make things happen. And we don't have that. And sadly, we can't do this and make poverty disappear and make hunger disappear and make what's happening, you know, make women dying in childbirth disappear. We can't, we can't do that. 
And so we really, in this very moment, only have two options. Accept it or be miserable. I cannot change this exact moment. In order to have this moment be different, I would have to rewind life. I would have had to redo the last hours, days, weeks, years differently. And since I can't do that, I have no choice but to accept the present moment. The refusal to do that is just saying, okay, I'm going to live in my, my miserable you know, fantasy world. Because it is a fantasy. If I don't accept the reality, it's fantasy, good or bad. But that accepting of the present moment is for the very important reason of being in alignment with truth. It's also for the very important reason of being in peace. Because if I'm not accepting something right now, I can't sit in peace. Whether it's the world situation, whether it's what the people in front of me are doing, whether it's how people are speaking, whether it's the guy across from me who's eating with his mouth open, you know, from the, from the smallest and most mundane to the biggest, my lack of acceptance of what's happening this moment prevents me from being in peace. And me being in peace is crucial for two reasons. The first, of course, is obvious. That's the point. We're supposed to be in peace. We're peaceful beings. The core of who we are is peace. That's, that's what we're all striving to go back to. The source, the core, the truth, the soul, the spirit, the divine, whatever word we use, it's peace. That is who we are. That is what we touch when we meditate, when we go within. So that's the deepest core of who you are, which is one of the reasons it's so important to access it. But the other reason it's so important to access it is so that I can change tomorrow or next week or next year so that I can actually be an efficient and effective agent of change. If I'm not in peace... All I'm doing is reacting. And when I'm reacting, particularly reacting in stress, I'm not effective. And so if I'm unhappy with the way things are in the world, as basically anybody who's awake on any level, from the lowest level, just literally as in your breathing, to the highest level, should be. I mean, really, if you're awake and alive today, there's lots of things to be unhappy about in the world. It's good. It gives us things to do every day. It keeps us busy. There's plenty to do to address the things that make us unhappy in the world. We can't address all of them. For some, we're going to work on poverty. For some, we'll work on hunger. For some, we'll work on water, sanitation, hygiene. For some, we're going to work on women's issues. Whatever it may be. But there, there really should be something for everyone to be unhappy about enough that it's a catalyst for you to do some work for it. But that doesn't mean that you're not in peace. And this is where the subtle distinction, but it's crucial. Because if I'm working because I'm agitated, if I'm working because I'm upset, if I'm working because I'm restless, I'm not going to be able to effectively help the situation because all I'm going to bring to the situation is upset and restlessness and frustration and anger. So my acceptance is of this, this very moment, 
this breath. Cannot rewind it. Right here, right now, it's all exactly as it should be. And we know that because that's how it is. And we accept it. And in the moment, we're also aware. Aware of things that, should we have a magic wand? Or even should we have skills and abilities? Or extra financial resources? Or whatever, whatever we may have that can be put to use for the world. We're going to use them. So accepting on a deep core spiritual level and condoning are not the same thing. We accept how it is. That's in this moment, this is where we are. That doesn't mean we condone it. There's a lot of things going on we don't condone. We then work to change them as, as much as we can, as effectively, efficiently, egolessly as we can, which of course means from a place of peace and acceptance.